for me, you have the impression that I have a sports car, a race car. It was necessary that this car has to have wide wings, wide rims, and of course that was the point that I was really, really enthusiastic about this car because it looks fantastic with the wide wings and the 11 inch uh, rims in the back. And at this time it was 300 horsepower. If you uh, compare it to today, it, it's just a, 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 a small car. And, uh, but uh, at this time it was for me a very poor car, you know? It was really made like a hard wheel car. It was a differential, a mechanical differential. If you compare it to the modern cars, you have a very lot of electronic and that makes the car a little bit synthetic, you know? That is, that was the, the, the fantastic car, uh, thing on, on this car. It was really a poor car. Of course, you have no power steer. Everything is a little bit more work to do it, but you you have the feeling you are sitting in a car and you have to work with this car that it is doing what you want. And for me, at this time, it was it was really really very impressive that the speed economy speed with this tire. I think it has 285 uh, white tires in the back. It was it was unbelievable. And uh, with 1,240 kilos or something, it was a, a light car. Comparing to today, you know, we are very happy if we, we look to a modern GT3 and we have 1,420 kilos, and you say, yeah, fantastic. But it's still 200 kilo more, it's nearly uh, two and a half person more in the car. And all these uh, small details was making this car very, very in impressive. And I had the, the, the lucky situation that I could drive this car for some months. And at this time it was, uh, if you were driving with this car, everybody was, was of course watching and looking this car because it was um, the first really wide body in a 911. Before we had a 2.7 RS, which was the first car with, with some wide wings, but this was uh, the first really um, road car which really uh, wings like you have in a, on a race car. After, after the development work, I think they built 50, 50 cars more or something like this. But uh, uh, of course nobody has seen a, a car like this before. And that was the, the reason that at this time it was a, a, a big show if you were driving this car on the, on the, on the, on the open road. Mm -hmm. uh, because everybody was, was watching and looking and said, oh, look this car, oh, these wide wings and the big rims and, and uh, 3.8 liters it was also something, uh, the torque was, was, was much better than on the normal RS and uh, of course and the optic was, was completely different. If you see uh, a normal uh, uh, 964 RS, it's, it's a, a small car which uh, uh, if you don't tell it to people, they don't will, will realize it's RS. It looks like a normal 911. But this car was outstanding. Everybody was immediately real, uh, uh, had a realization that it's not a normal Porsche, it's something special. 40 horsepower more, big tires, the, the cornering speed and, and the big uh, wing on the back was of course uh, was uh, a lot faster than the, the, the 964 yeah, and uh, for me it was it was uh, really the next step to to, to have a race car uh, even the normal one was was some special the 964 RS I think it was the car which the most motorsport activities have been uh, started in Porsche with this car, but this one was 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 a, a one step more. And uh, uh, of course, when I was driving uh, this car, and uh, then I was coming back to a normal RS, I said, mm, "What is possible in, in a car?" And uh, I had not anymore so much fun with a uh, standard car like this with the with the 3.8 liter. It was maybe the the, the first really uh, RS, which was uh, 
quite uh, quite near to a, to a, to a race car, and uh, and all the rest uh, the next RSs were we uh, made was more or less this car was was uh, the uh, let's say the father of all RS. A 911 was a car which needs some knowledge of car driving because if you uh, had a, a, a F model or a G model, uh, it was not so easy uh, to go really fast. But with this RS, with these wide uh, tires, it was it was it was easy even to go as fast that the car was starting a high speed, a little bit of oversteering, but it was not scary, you know, it was going smooth from, from the stable and instable. It was just you have to, 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 to not like this, you have just to open it, it was so smooth and you could really play with, with this car. And that was, that was of course, that was the thing which I like. Uh, I always said, uh, the car starts Car driving starts if when the car is sliding. If, as long as it's, it's stable, everybody can go. But as soon as it's sliding and, and you you stay in this situation for a long time to keep the car sliding a long time and it is just doing what, what it's doing, then that is really car driving. And, and especially uh, the RS, the 3.8 liter, was one of the first cars which was exactly what I was expecting to have fun from a car. Maybe uh, it was first time uh, that I was feeling in a, in a Porsche. I feel really like I am one piece with the car. The same feeling uh, today, uh, in the last five, six years, was with the, with the Cayman uh, uh, GT4. It was also a car with, where many people say, I'm sitting in the car and after 50 minutes, I feel well. It's something that is this car, this car is not scaring me. I just have the feeling everything is under control. And the same was for me at this time in this 911. It was really the first 911 where I said, okay, that is so easy to go fast with this car.